I'm Jim Richards. Hope you're having a great day, man. If you want to have life better than you ever imagined, that's what I want to help you do because Jesus said that he came that we might have life and have it to its fullest, man. You know what? When God talked about something being good, his definition of good way better than my definition, way better than your definition. When God says he wants to have a good life, which he has not, he said hundreds of times in the Bible, man, he's talking about something that, that actually the Apostle Paul said is better than anything we've ever seen, is better than anything we've ever heard, is better than anything we've ever experienced, and is better than anything we've ever imagined. You know what that means? That means as long as I am walking with God, the quality of my life, my peace, my joy, all of these things should keep growing, growing, getting better, getting better, getting better, getting better. But the problem is sometimes our life doesn't get better and we think we're following God, it's not working. Well, I want to tell you something. When it's not working, it's never, it's never God's fault. When it's not working, it's usually because we've got some religious idea. We've got some way of, of looking at something that we think is, that we think is a God thing, but, but it's really not. The Bible warns us uh, that we should not preach ourselves. In other words, I've noticed this. I've noticed this with some preachers. When some preachers describe the perfect Christian, have just they have just drawn a picture of themselves. You know what? Uh, God really doesn't need for you to be like anybody else. As a matter of fact, God doesn't want you to be like anybody else. God wants you to, in your character and and how you live your life to be like Jesus. And you say, well, that, nobody can be like Jesus. Well, wait a minute. That's just a stupid religious response. Jesus has got to be our standard. Whether we, whether we don't live up to it or not, he's got to be our standard. And many of these things that we're told are, are about what we need to be, what we need to do, they're not, they're not really Bible because if, the, if it looks like Jesus, if it's based on what Jesus taught, then, then it's Bible. But you know what? If it contradicts the life Jesus lived, if it contradicts what Jesus taught, then it ain't nothing but some religious opinion. I got news for you. Religious opinion don't make your life better. It makes your life more frustrating. It makes your life more complicated. It makes your life harder to live, and God wants this thing to be easy and light. You know, I'd like to help take you on a journey to discover the incredible peace and joy that comes from being the real you in Jesus. You think, man, I don't even know what that, I don't know what that means. I thought that when I came to Jesus, I had to, you know, I, I couldn't be the real me anymore. No, God wants you to be the real you, but in Jesus, because the real you has the same personality, has the same uh, sense of humor, has, a, you know, has the same, some of the same strengths and weaknesses. I'm not talking about moral strengths and weaknesses, but it's you, but it's a righteous version of you, which means you start living in your strength. You, everything, everything about who you are starts working for you because now, the grace of God's working you. Now the righteousness of God is, 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 is manifesting in, in how you do everything. You know, I'd like to share a, a great, great message with you. And if you'll pop a subscribe button below, I'll send you an email this Thursday with a link to a short message. And you're going to discover more about how to be your authentic self, be who you are, but be who you are in Jesus. Be who you are as you walk with God. And you know something? If you've got other life issues that you're trying to work out and you say, man, I, you know, th th this is good and I want to be the real me, but man, I got other stuff I'm trying to sort out. Well, here, here's the great news. I got hundreds of free videos that you can watch. I've got all kinds of, uh, of, of things that you can go to to discover more about how to have peace, how to deal with stress, how to deal with frustration, how to deal with negative emotions, how to deal with destructive relationships, how to save your marriage. You know, I just, man, I just got a thing the other day. A couple, a couple listened to one of my series called Beating the Odds. It's about having a great marriage and, 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 and they're renewing their vows now and, and, and their whole marriage has been rebuilt because they just took the time to take some of these resources, get plugged into the Word of God and discover how to have a life as best. So you know something? Either subscribe below or go to drjimrichards.com or impactministries.com and check out all the free resources because I want you to live life at its best.